scientists, let's talk about force. Oh, no, not that kind of force. The kind of force that I'm talking about is a push or a pull on an object. Anything in motion has had a force that acted on it. That is, something else pushed or pulled it. It could be you playing soccer when you kick the ball. That's applying force to score a goal. Or you could use force to pull your backpack across the floor, or push a book across your desk, or even throw a football across the field. The more force you apply, the more motion the object will have. So if you kick a football with less force, it won't move very far. But if you kick the football with a lot more force, it'll go a really far distance and at a faster speed. There are a lot of different types of force. Gravity is the force of an object pulling another object towards its center. This is like how the sun pulls the Earth and all of the other planets towards it in an orbit. The larger an object's mass, the more gravity it'll have and the more force it's able to use to pull towards it. Earth's gravity is pulling on you right now. If you jump up, gravity is what makes you fall back down towards the Earth. Let's look back at our football from earlier. When you kick it, you apply force in one direction. But gravity also had an effect on that football by pulling it back down to the ground. Together, these two forces are called net force. It results in the football's ultimate distance and speed as it travels. Just because something isn't moving doesn't mean that it doesn't have forces acting upon it. A lot of times, forces are balanced. This would be like when you're standing up. You are applying force by pushing your body up but the Earth is also applying force by pulling you back down with gravity. You're not moving anywhere, and so these forces are balanced. We can also use simple machines to make motion easier. Simple machines are devices that multiply the amount of force to make work easier. There are six different kinds of simple machines. You can have inclined planes. These are flat surfaces that look like ramps. You see these all the time when you're going into building. A wheelchair ramp on the sidewalk is a great example, but so is a slide at a park. We also have levers. This is a straight beam placed over a fulcrum. If you push on one side of the beam, it helps you lift up something heavy. A great example of a lever is a teeter-totter or a seesaw. Another example of a simple machine is a pulley. This is where you have a wheel and an axle with a rope going around it. This simple machine helps you lift things that are heavy straight up or lower them down. A screw is another simple machine. You've probably used this one the most. It's usually a pointy cylinder with an inclined plane wrapped around it to help give torque as the screw drives into another object. A wedge is one or two inclined planes used to drive something into something else. This would be like an axe or any type of blade, like a chisel. Our last simple machine is a wheel and axle. You see wheel and axles all the time, on cars, on bicycles, but what it is is one bar attaching one or two wheels that allows them to spin, like a doorknob. Let's pause and look at some questions. 